Good evening. Welcome to the Eastchester Board of Fire Commissioners reorganization meeting for 2014. Um, we need a salute to the flag, and then we'll yep. start the meeting. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag of the United, of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, so I need a motion to open the meeting. I make that motion, Mr. Chairman. And a second? Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Well, um, tonight we're going to introduce Peter England on to the board. Peter was elected in the December election, and um, so he now joins the board in the slot which was previously filled by Mr. Stiegelman. So, um, Peter, welcome aboard, and thank you for joining the board, and we appreciate it. Um, tonight we're going to start out by doing a, uh, we have to select a chairman of the board, so I'll let the members decide what they want to do there. Any discussion? No. So somebody has to nominate yeah, a chairman. I'll nominate, nominate uh, Dennis Winter as chairman. Second. Okay. All in, uh, Commissioner Baker? Uh, I'm in favor. I, I would move we close nominations. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, we should move to close oh. the nomination. Um, Commissioner Baker? Um, I vote aye. Commissioner uh, Napolitano? Aye. Commissioner Engadon, and I'll say hi, so that'll solve that. So then we have, uh, we have to appoint a temporary chairman of the board, and that's in case I don't make the meeting, somebody has to act as chairman. Um, and I, I would offer uh, Jerry Napolitano's name to do that. I would second that. Anybody else? I, yeah. Okay, I'll, any further discussion? No? Okay. So, uh, Mr. Baker? Aye. Mr. Uh, Inkledon, Mr. Napolitano? Aye. And I'll say aye. Okay, so right now we have to um, go into executive discussion, executive session and discuss the appointments um, for that are going to be coming up as far as um, posi appointed positions on the board. So I'd look for a motion for us to enter executive session to discuss those positions. I make that motion, Mr. Chairman. And a second on that? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Okay. okay. Can I have a motion to come back into regular session, please? Motion to come back. And a second? I second it. Okay. And, okay, so now we're back in regular session where this is the um, reorganization meeting, and we're going to go through appointments of uh, the board appointments. So. I look for a motion uh, and a second that John Molazari be appointed a fire district secretary slash treasurer for the year 2004. Mr. Molazari's Mulliz hour, hours will vary as needed, but not to exceed 20 hours per week at an annual at an hourly rate of $85. This appointment will not include any contractual benefits or health insurance and except as determined by law or regulations. So can I have a, a motion to that effect? I make that motion, Mr. Chairman. And I'll second it. Jerry, and I'll poll the board. So, Commissioner Inkledon? Aye. Commissioner Baker? Aye. Commissioner Maltano? Aye. And Commissioner Winter will say aye. So, motion carried. We also have, now we have the annual board appointments to committees for board members and uh, propose the following slate of member, uh, board members assignments. Career firefighter committee, uh, chaired by Mr. Baker, and then by co-chaired by Mr. Napolitano. The volunteer fireman, the volunteer firefighters committee, Raymond O'Hare, and co-chaired by Mr. Baker. The apparatus, house and apparatus committee, chaired by Mr. Napolitano, and co-chaired by Mr. Inkledon. The Budget and Finance Committee will be chaired by myself and then co-chaired by Mr. Inkledon. Communications Committee, I will chair and the co-chair will be Mr. Inkledon. The Grant Committee, Mr. Inkledon and co-chair is myself. The Health and Wellness Committee is Mr. Napolitano and co-chaired by myself. And the Technology Committee 
would be chaired by Mr. Napolitano and co-chaired by Mr. Incladon. Does anybody want to have discussions of that or are comfortable with that? Make a motion to advance that slate. Okay. Peanut and Mr. Baker. Okay. Mr. Incledon? Aye. Mr. Baker? Aye. Mr. Nabaltano? Aye. And I'll say aye. So that will be our slate for 2014 for board assignments. Um, for Fire District Council, um, we're going to be using this year, this, uh, the firm is proposed as we continue the same law firm with his Coglin and, and Gerhardt, which is located in Binghamton, New York. And um, I'm just going to continue with these. And well, if anybody has any objections, they can tell me. Um, the auditor we already appointed, but we shouldn't just to mention at our annual reappointment meeting that we have a new auditing firm this year. Um, their initials are B, S, T, and company for Bolum, Sheely, and Turi and company. They were, we had passed a motion last uh, month to retain them. Um, so can we get a motion on those two appointments? Motion. Mr. Second. Baker. Excuse me, Mr. Napolitano and Mr. Incladon. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Um, we need to set the hourly rate for um, Mrs. Falcone, who is the intermediate typist. Currently, she works no more than 17 and a half hours a week. So, motion to set the hourly wage for Mary Lou Falcone at $28 per hour. Uh, and her hours will not exceed 17 and a half hours per week in the position of part time intermediate typist and will not receive any health care benefits. So, do I have a motion to that effect? Make a motion. So, Jerry Napolitano. A second. Yep. Peter Inkledon. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Motion carried. Um, we have the abnormal appointments for fire district chaplain. Um, and this year it's again Reverend Maiello and the Reverend Clark from the Immaculate Conception Church. For the members of the department, Reverend Maiello has been extremely active in the department for the past almost 15 years. Uh, he usually shows up and oh, if we have a bad call or a bad accident, you can expect to see Reverend Maiello at scene trying to offer counseling and, and his services. Uh, he also stops by the firehouse after a bad event to talk to the members. So we appreciate Reverend Maiello's activity. So um, I would look for a motion to appoint Reverend Maiello of the Good Shepherd Church and Father Frank, for, excuse me, Ranford Clark of the Immaculate Inception Church to be appointed Fire District Chaplains for 2014. I make that motion, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Baker. Second. And Mr. Inkledon. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. We have the Insurance, not the insurance, yeah, the Arthur Gallagher has been our insurance company of record. I'd have a mo look for a motion to appoint the Arthur Gallagher Risk Management Services, White Plains, New York, be appointed Fire District General Insurance Broker for the year 2014. I have a motion to that effect? I'll make that motion. Meaner and a second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, motion passed. Um, we need a, a newspaper of record where we can publish our legal notices. The Journal News has always been our um, newspaper of public record, and that's because it's a daily newspaper. Some people ask why can't it be the town report or an online newspaper or something like that. We're required to use a daily publication. In this case, it's the Journal News. So I would look for a motion to appoint the Journal News as the official fire district newspaper for 2014. I'll make that motion. And a second. I'll second it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 So motion carries. Um, and finally, we have to renew our, our insurance. Um, our liability insurance is coming up. The proposal came from the Arthur Gallagher Agency. The total premium this year is relatively the same as last year, $86,943. So I'd look for a motion to renew. Um, our, our general liability insurance uh, and renew the policy with the Arthur Gallagher Agency um, until January 1st, 2015. Can I have a motion to that effect? I'll make that motion. 
second. I'll second it. Mr. Terry. AP off just a little. And so. Because the Summerfield site hadn't been. Right, we are. should be a little less. Right. right, as the Chief's pointing out, the policy came with the Summerfield site as a listed property of being insured. We are going to remove the Summerfield site from that property uh, because we moved out of the Summerfield firehouse uh, prior to, to a few, several weeks ago. We're back in Station 5, our normal firehouse. So we've given up the lease on Station, we were commonly known as Station 6, and we're back operating on Wilmot Road. So um, we would expect a very slight deduction when they get done doing the calculations <coughs> on, the, on taking off Station 6. So um, I'm going to do a roll call. So Mr. Baker? Uh, with that uh, provision, yes, uh, uh, four. OK. Aye. 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 And I'll say aye. Motion carried. So I think that was pretty much my agenda for the evening. It, we were out of the, we had everybody out of the, out of station six before the election, correct? Everybody was out of station six on the, uh, the election was on the 10th and I believe we moved on, was it the 9th or was it the? It was, it was the Saturday prior. The Saturday prior. There was an article in the, one of the local newspapers, and I think that's where. Uh, no, I was just, well, uh, yeah, there was an article. I, I wasn't going that way, but I will address third. it. Yeah, the commissioners being Thursday, Saturday we made the move, actually made the move complete, got out of it, and then the election was following Tuesday yep. just for. Yep. Did you want to comment on that? No, I mean, I, I, that wasn't really where I was going, I would, but I will comment on it now that it's up. Um, yeah, there was a article or uh, an interview that was conducted where there was a statement made that we were, we, we being the uh, fire department, the board of fire, um, the, the fire board still had people in that station after the election, and that completely was not true. It was erroneous. We were out beforehand, and it was a work in progress, but they were out before that point. And that also should have been the, uh, the insurance policy probably crossed in the mail at that point. But for yeah. the people at home, I wanted to make sure they knew that as promised, we had everybody out of that the station, out of that rental property and into the station five before the election was conducted. Correct. We, they were done by the 15th of the month. Our lease was up and we were out before then for sure. We were out that, that Saturday right. and the election was on the Tuesday. And that article had numerous uh, erroneous statements, misstatements of fact, but I will address that at the uh, next meeting. Right. <laughs> including right. the election results. Including the election results. Um, so uh, thank you, uh, Commissioner Baker. Um, we. We did a lot of work on getting that house back up and running. The chief did a lot of work getting that up and running, and it was uh, we're happy that everybody's back in there. There'll be some minor glitches that we'll talk about at next month's meeting that we'll work through, but they're relatively minor to where we are, and uh, all good. I will just say that our meetings going forward, last year in 2013, we had a lot of um, work that we had to do between meetings. We had a total of 22 meetings by the end of the year. Um, I don't think we'll be doing that again this year with 23 meetings. I hope we don't. We would like to stick to the monthly schedule of the second Thursday of every month. The Village of Bronxville has been extremely gracious to us, offering us this building to have our meetings. Uh, they've never refused us. They're always uh, perfectly willing to have us host the meetings here. And we really thank Mayor Marvin and the Bronxville Village Board for being so hospitable. And Peter North is our uh, video technician, and he's always Excellent. So uh, I'd like to thank Peter and the, and the Village of Bronx and the Board of Trustees for allowing us to host our meetings in this location. So the second Thursday of every month, I might have said Tuesday, but the second Thursday of every month is when our meetings are. And we're planning to have one then that would be next Thursday already. And we're going to have another meeting next Thursday night. So the 9th will be our meeting. And the times may vary slightly depending on the board member's schedules. Um, but typically we go into executive, we started with an executive session, then come out around eight o'clock and do the normal meetings. It seems to work better for the board and for council to do that. So any board member comments before we? No, just welcome our new commissioner and uh, you know, wish you luck. Uh, thank you. Welcome, Peter. Thanks. Welcome, Peter. Uh, I would like to thank the people who came out and voted on uh on the 10th uh the weather was was uh not too good that day similar to what it's like tonight and uh i do appreciate uh, the turnout 
Uh, I also would like to say that uh, I'd like to thank uh, Commissioner Stiegelman. It was a public service position. He served five years, and I thank him for his service. And uh, I'd also like to add that uh, in preparation for joining the board, I spent a lot of time going through minutes, and I'd like to commend the board on their stewardship of, uh, of, of matters uh, in the past two years. There have been some challenging issues, and uh, I think it's been a job well done. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, so uh, motion to close the meeting. Motion to close the meeting. And a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Have a good night, and have a very happy new year.